well-known billionaire buddies, Bill Gates and Warren Buffett, selected Wyoming as the site for their new project, Natrium Nuclear Reactor. Where the older coal plant is about to retire, TerraPower was founded by Bill Gates 15 years ago, and the power company, Pacificorp, is owned by Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. The Natrium power plant date was expected to be announced by the end of this year. The power plant will have small nuclear reactors, and these reactors will be fueled by intermittent power sources like wind and solar energy. Unlike traditional reactors, carbon-free technology will be used. Hence, this nuclear power plant will reduce the rate of pollutants, resulting in a cleaner environment. This nature-friendly initiative taken by TerraPower and Pacificorp will mitigate the destructive climate changes. Bill Gates said, we think Natrium will be a game changer for the energy industry at the project launch. Well, if he is that optimistic, it will be interesting to know when they pull off this tricky and unique project. Before moving on to further updates, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss upcoming videos. Wyoming. Kemmerer, Wyoming is selected as the site for Natrium Power Project development. Wyoming is the least populated state in the western United States in the Mountain West subregion. Wyoming is considered the 10th largest state by area. According to the mapping of the area, Montana is located in its north, Nebraska to the east, Idaho to the west, and in the south is Colorado. Kemmerer's roughly calculated population is 2,700. We are pleased and excited to host the Natrium Demonstration Project. This is great for Kemmerer and Wyoming said the town's mayor on behalf of Kemmerer and surrounding communities. Reasons to choose the site? Whenever a project is planned, the construction site is the key priority for investors and planners. Likewise, TerraPower said various factors were taken into consideration while choosing the site, including the favorable physical factors of the site, cooperation and support of resident communities, the eligibility of the site to get a license from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission, available access to existing infrastructure, and the needs of the grid, as already two existing operational power plants are going to retire in 2025, whereas the third one was converted from a coal unit to a gas unit that run only at the time of higher energy demand to maintain the grid balance. Demonstration of the reactor. TerraPower has changed the direct heat conversion method to an innovative heat storage module, where the traditional's reactor directly convert the heat extracted from the reactor into power. Natrium nuclear reactor will save the heat in the form of molten salt. The average generation is 345 megawatts, but it will be capable of producing 500 megawatts to meet the higher energy demands at times or a scale down when demand is reduced. This adjustable feature, according to changing demands, is a plus of this project as it will strengthen the grid to effectively meet the higher energy demands without failure and no loss of energy when demand reduces. This will help the nuclear power plant to efficiently follow daily cycles of demand. As Wyoming majorly produces wind power, the heat storage will also allow Kemmerer site to maintain and integrate the rising use of renewable sources. Along with new opportunities comes new risk. Of course, both the business tycoons must have taken the possible risks into serious consideration, but the combination of all new technologies that have been merely used only for experiments or never run before into a single design raises the risk bar higher. It will be exciting to know and watch how they are going to pull off this extensive project without failure. As the predicted time for project completion is seven years, will it succeed as expected? But we can say one thing for sure that the prices of nuclear designs can remain competitive with the decreasing cost of renewable stored sources. Renewable sources are going to set a new era of advanced technology by lowering the costs and implementing energy storage technology instead of wasting it as a traditional power plant. But their design and execution require great care and keen consideration of every aspect because a slightly wrong implementation may convert an opportunity into a disaster cost and companies involved. The name of TerraPower being attached to the project does not make it wholly a TerraPower project. There are several other companies in this project. The reason for highlight for TerraPower is its chairman Bill Gates as he promoted the Natrium Power Project as a partial solution for climate demolition. TerraPower has been selected by the US Department of Energy to build a demonstration reactor, 
a designation that assures at least $180 million for construction and generating billions of dollars in upcoming years. So you cannot say it is a TerraPower project. The design of the reactor is being made by GE Hitachi Nuclear Energy. Another company named Bechtel will help in construction, which requires at least 80% population of Kemmerer, roughly estimated. It is not any common or simple design. Several technologies are being used that no one has ever thought of using at this larger scale. GE Hitachi and TerraPower have set up a website to explain this design extensively as they have named this design Natrium. Does not this thought give you goosebumps that there is so much innovation and new technologies involved in a single project? Next, we are going to talk about what will the benefits Wyoming communities will get out of this project. What makes this nuclear power plant the talk of the town? What outcomes a common man of Kemmerer can expect from it? Let's have a look at them. Employment and generation capacity. A workforce of 2,000 employees will be needed on construction when the project reaches its peak and 25 workers when the nuclear reactor starts operating, officially stated by TerraPower. The production capacity of a 345 megawatt plant will be sufficient for 250,000 homes, roughly estimated, while it will have the ability to meet 500 megawatt production needs in times of higher demand. Federal funding for the reactor was added to the $1.2 trillion Infrastructure Investment and Employment Act by President Joe Biden. Difference from other nuclear power plants. This nuclear power plant will not use water to extract heat out of the reactor as other power plants. Contrary to this, liquid sodium will be used. Plus, of this method is that sodium will not boil at the temperature it is exposed to in the reactor. So there will be no need to expose any coolant hardware to undergo high pressure. This simplifies the process, but the matter of concern is sodium, as it readily reacts with air and is explosive with water. All around the world, 25 major reactors have been built to date that used sodium as coolant. Many of them were on small scale just for experimental purposes, and a few were operational. The last one was built in 1965 in the United States, and the last operating reactor was shut down in 1994. It clarifies that the companies don't have much reliable past data to learn from. They're going to experiment with it by themselves. Either this project skyrockets or backfires. The execution will let the world know. Well, if it works, it will set new reforms in the world of nuclear technology. Sodium coolant, as compared to water coolant design, doesn't slow the production of the neutron in fission reactions, as they are known as fast reactors due to this reason. Swiftly moving neutrons can transform isotopes that don't assist in making useful fuel, causing hindrance in higher fuel production. According to the TerraPower demonstration, this design is surrounded by a core of enriched fuel with several less useful isotopes. The reactor will be run by an enriched core that converts additional material to a useful fuel, which will be replaced by the new one as the older one gets exhausted. This technology also has no prior commercial usage. This is not wrong to say that several new experiments are going to run under this one project. The reactors have several characteristics that will ensure passive safety, limiting internal heat even if the cooling circulation dies. Experiment The federal government is considering the Natrium power plant as a test project. Hence, similar experiments are done before. But Natrium project is unique and one and only of its kind. Until now. As it is based on a compact design, its operation is based on modern technology. The companies say it will be built faster and much lower budget as compared to traditional nuclear power plants. To begin with, it uses low-cost concrete to contain the reactor. According to Warren and Gates, after one successful demonstration, the project can be fastly expanded and duplicated somewhere else. Federal officers say the plant can turn out nearly 3 million power unit hours of carbon-free power annually and avoid nearly a pair of million metric heaps of carbon that might otherwise be emitted by a standard powerhouse. It might be steam powered with fuel that's up to fourfold additional powerful than the 5% enriched metallic element usually employed in nuclear energy plants. And TerraPower is functioning with the centralized authority to develop a US controlled supply of the fuel. Today, coal and nuclear energy plants across the country generate concerning 20% of the nation's electricity with renewables creating up to another 20% and fossil fuel the remaining 40%. Wyoming is the nation's leading producer of coal 
which is burned to form electricity serving residents principally in American states, California, Colorado, and Washington. There are square measure 55 industrial nuclear energy plants within the United States, unfold across 28 states. Are you curious to know more about this project? Let us know below in the comments. Thank you for watching this video.